To measure thumb to small finger opposition, we use the Kapanji method. The Kapanji method consists of 11 different stages that you have your client go through, and the highest stage they can successfully attain or position themselves in actively is their range of motion measurement. So let's go through those stages. Stage zero is thumb pad to the side of the radial side of the index finger proximal phalanx. This obviously requires no opposition, which is why it's stage zero. Then stage one is the thumb pad to the side of the middle phalanx of the index finger. Stage two is the thumb pad to the radial side of the distal phalanx of the index finger. Stage three is where we really start to see more opposition, and that is thumb pad uh, to index finger pad, that's stage three. Stage four is thumb to middle finger. Stage five, is thumb to ring finger. Stage six is thumb pad to small finger pad. And then we work our way down the small finger. So stage seven is the thumb tip or thumb pad to the small finger distal interphalangeal crease. Stage eight is the thumb to the proximal interphalangeal crease of the small finger. Stage nine is the thumb to the palmar digital crease of the small finger. And stage 10 is thumb tip to the distal palmar crease over the fifth metacarpal, like that. All right, so those are the 11 stages, numbered zero through 10, that Kapanji uses to measure active range of motion for thumb to small finger opposition. If you are using the Kapanji method to stage opposition, it is important to make sure that your client is actually opposing with the thumb pad or thumb tip uh, to the small finger, for example, and not just flexing the thumb at the CMC joint. Here we have opposition, and you can see with opposition we have a fair amount of abduction or palmar abduction. You can also see here that the thumb metacarpal has pronated a bit to bring that thumb tip uh, directly in line with the small finger tip. If the person simply flexes at the thumb CMC joint, you will see that the thumb tip goes to the side of the small finger distal phalanx. Uh, this is not opposition. You can see there's really no uh, abduction and no pronation of the thumb metacarpal. So this would not be considered a stage six. Uh, in fact, if this is all the client can do, uh, they're probably more in one of the first stages. There are some other ways in the literature to measure these. Most of those have go something like this. Uh, basically, the client is to bring their thumb as far as they can, and then um, some measurement is taken uh, in centimeters. Uh, sometimes it's from the th uh, nail, sometimes it's from the IP crease, sometimes it's over the uh, third metacarpal at the distal palmar crease, sometimes it's over the fifth metacarpal to the distal palmar crease. But anyway, uh, there's a number of uh, things like that. Those I don't think are particularly valid or reliable uh, when you try them out. They just don't make a ton of sense. Um, and I think the Kapanji method is much clearer and 
uh, valid and reliable.